ริ่มกันเลยมาดูเควสกันก่อนก็คือมีเควสเซบาเตียนเควสป๊อปปี้แล้วเควสนัตตี้นะคะเราจะไปทำเควสป๊อปปี้กันก่อนเพราะว่าเพราะว่าเราไม่ค่อยได้ทำเควสกับป๊อปปี้สักเท่าไหร่เราควรจะไปทำเควสกับป๊อปปี้บ้างไปโอเคทางนี้ This is a change of pace from our last outing Don't remind me The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring The collars they were wearing they appeared to be goblin silver I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp I've never known poachers to use anything like that before The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Vic had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Vic had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. So frustrating. Oh, oh, this is my mother. You wanted to speak with me, mother. I had hoped. To speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentions your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. Careful. Officer Singer, this place. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She directed me to not keep a closer eye on you, and she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She calls you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts. So I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, oh. I am an animagus, and it is oh, in my gazelle oh, form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin, that is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Can you choose what form your animagus will take? Oh, oh no, no. a person's oh, animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. Anna Maggie are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month, then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs, and that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadon, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. How does it feel to transform into that? Well, the first time it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat, but it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, 
I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming. But mother was less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. She claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me <laughs> in my gazelle form. <laughs> but she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow and Randrock were after you. But you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Okay. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. ในๆพวกมึงก็รู้ความลับร่วมกันแล้วไปไปกับกูให้หมดนี่ยังแบบว่ามีอาจารย์คอยช่วยนะเว้ยแฮร์รี่นี่แฮร์รี่กับไอ
Let me know. It would mean a lot. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it? Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lord Gok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. do you know? You said you know gobbledygook. But how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. Okay. Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me. Being self-taught and all. Lovecock is waiting. Shall we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. <coughs> a friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here. Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earthgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. Okay. You said this would repair the chasm between the two of you. How did you not expect him to react this way? I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Uh, Rookwood Castle? Rookwood. That is where we began our search. Why does Ragnarok care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Mm -hmm. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Amit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. Yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. 
I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is not be seen, either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. What else should we know บอก, about the enchanted door? Uh, the enchanted door will door not door. open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. Oh, From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. I'll meet and I can do this. I will I'll await your return. I shall see you soon. อย่ามีใครตายได้ไหมได้ปุ๊บโดยเฉพาะอาจารย์อาจารย์อาจารย์เราอาจารย์ฟิตเจอร์ลาดเอ๊ะ